EWTN invites you to join us for benediction and devotions from the Shrine of the Most Blessed Sacrament at Our Lady of the Angels Monastery in Hansville, Alabama. Novena to the Divine Child Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Divine Child Jesus, we believe in you, we adore you, and we love you. Have mercy on us sinners. 
We've come to this temple in response to your love. We've come in response to your mercy and grace. We are here because you invited us to come before you and to pour out the cares of our hearts to you since you deeply care for each of us. We remember your words to the disciples. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. Trusting in your infinite goodness and trusting that you always keep your promise, we now ask this intention which we pray in the silence of our hearts. Thank you, Divine Child Jesus, for listening attentively to our prayers all the time. We hope that you will ask this before our Heavenly Father. And if what we ask for may not be good for our salvation and sanctification, we trust that you will grant us instead what we truly need, so that one day we may be with you for all eternity enjoying that ultimate happiness of heaven. Divine Child Jesus, bless and protect us. Divine Child Jesus, bless and lead us. Divine Child Jesus, bless and provide for us. All this we ask through the intercession of your Holy Mother Mary and in your powerful and most holy name, Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I appeal to you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree and that there be no dissensions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and the same judgment. The Word of the Lord. Today we are beginning our prayer uh, to the Divine Child Jesus. We will pray the prayer which we prayed uh, earlier, which is uh, available at the nun's uh, website. Uh, we will pray that prayer once a month uh, for the next nine months. It's like a novena. Uh, instead of nine days in a row, we will do it once a month for nine months until the first Sunday of September, which will be the uh, solemnity of the Divine Child Jesus. And if you are here, the prayer of course, will be provided uh, for you. Uh, but if you are joining us via EWTN, uh, you may get the prayer for, from the nun's uh, website, which is uh, www.olamshrine.com, which is O-L-A-M shrine.com. You can get the prayers uh, from there. And you can visit their website also to read any uh, upcoming news or news here at the shrine, uh, see some photos and uh, listen to all the morning homilies uh, preached from here uh, as well. I encourage you and I know all the nuns uh, would like you to uh, formulate your special intention as, and ask for it from the Divine Child Jesus once a month uh, together with us until his uh, solemnity on the first Sunday of September. But the divine child Jesus extends his holy and venerable hand and offers his sacred heart. 
He offers us His sacred heart because many of our hearts are broken somewhat by various, because of various reasons. And one of those reasons is because of abortion that you yourself have committed one or more times. Or perhaps someone in your family have committed abortion because, because of your own encouragement uh, to do so. Perhaps our hearts are broken not because we have committed abortion or encouraged others to do that, but because of our own reflections, how many children have died because of it. Since the U.S. Supreme Court decisions of uh, Roe v. Wade and Doe v. Bolton 38 years ago yesterday, over 50 million surgical abortions have been recorded in the United States just the United States alone. And this is the most horrible taking of human life in history. So many infants have died because of this law, legalizing abortion in almost any circumstance and at any moment in a pregnancy. This is a good reason for our hearts to be broken, for this is nonsense a law that would legalize killing innocent lives in their mother's womb. And another reason perhaps our hearts are broken, not because of the high number of persons have been killed, though it's a very uh, tragic thing, but our hearts are broken because of our own nation here in the United States, being led by the most pro-abortion president we've ever had. Quoting the letter of Bishop Tobin from uh, Providence, Rhode Island, he pointed out about our president, how he has consistently surrounded himself with pro-abortion advisors. He has appointed pro-abortion politicians to keep positions in federal government including his two nominees for the Supreme Court. The full accounting of the president's track record on abortion goes on for eight typed pages. This breaks many of the American hearts who respect the dignity of human life from conception to natural death. One good fruit that comes out from this is how we unite ourselves. We unite ourselves just like St. Paul encouraged us through his letter to the Corinthians to be united in the same mind and the same judgment. We unite ourselves for the same goal. That is the promotion of the culture of life. Whether one is Catholic or Anglican or Episcopalian, or Jews, or Orthodox, etc. We come together to march for life. Yesterday in the, in the West Coast, and tomorrow in the East Coast. We come together united for the common cause, to promote the culture of life, to end abortion. And allow me to read the last part of Bishop Tobin's uh, fine letter on the recent uh, president's speech when he was uh, giving it in Tucson, Arizona. He writes, perhaps the president's most moving rhetoric was that about Christina Taylor Greene, the precious nine-year-old slain in the broads of bullets. As a father of two beautiful daughters himself, the president's words were surely personal and sincere. Of this child, he said, and Christina, we see all of our children, so curious, so trusting, so energetic and full of magic, so deserving of our love. And Bishop Tobin continues to write, but I can't help but ask respectfully, 
Mr. President, why can't you see our other children? So curious, so trusting, so energetic, and full of magic, and so deserving of our love. And all of the unborn children who did not live because of our nation's embrace of the abortion option. And in one of the most dramatic moments of his speech, the president announced that the wounded congresswoman, Gabrielle Giffords, opened her eyes for the first time just after he had completed his visit to her. A miracle, some proclaimed, and certainly a welcome sign of recovery at which we all rejoice. But I can't help but wonder how many tiny eyes will never open, will never see the light of day because of this president's short-sighted and zealous promotion of abortion. It is truly tragic that our president, for whose safety and well-being we pray and who has demonstrated an impressive ability to inspire other people, is unable to see the deadly consequence of his abortion agenda. Perhaps we need another miracle to open his eyes that he might see and understand how wrong abortion is, how sinful it is, how violent it is, and how it's destroying the life of our nation. This is definitely one miracle we want Divino Nino to answer that our president's eyes would truly be open regarding life. Many of our hearts are anguished and broken because of all these that I mentioned. The divine child Jesus offers his sacred heart. Let us accept it and place it over our hearts so that we may be renewed, restored, and strengthened in order to live our lives in truth with love.
Panem de celo prestitis Oremos. Deus qui nobis sub sacramento mirabili passionis tue memoriam reliquisti, tribue quesumus, ita nos corporis et sanguinis tui sacra misteria venerari, ut redemptionis tue fructum in nobis igiter sensiamus, qui vivis et regnas in saecula saeculorum. praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ through God and through man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even until the end of time. Amen. <laughs> 